Hey, Paul, it's time for the party. We've made the cheese, we've made the wine. Now it's time for perfect pairing. That's all coming up on the Fox 5 Morning News. People walk into the sea. Fox 5's Heather Ford is live in Kearney Mesa with more fun from curds and wine. Good morning. Curds Once and wine. Again, Heather. Hey, good morning to both of you. You know what? I don't remember, Paul, what you were saying or what you wanted your wine label to be, but I made one for you. So I hope that you like Paul's punch. Paul's what do you Paul's think about that? That's for really you? good. How did you do that over there? <laughs> hey, I found that picture on your Facebook. Yeah. So uh, I just stole that Paul, one from Facebook? you a little bit. And then we've got Sholly. You've got a Sholly Shiraz. You like oh. that? Oh. Look so at that. cute. Heather, and then we've got good. Raul's Rosé, so uh -huh. he's watching at home with the baby duty. He's there. And then, of course, healthy, Heather's Healthy Habit. Okay. <laughs> and then we've got Matt's Merlot. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> and then Chrissy's Cabernet. Aww. How what nice. do you think? I thought you were going to say Chrissy's thank Moonshine. Thank you, thank you. Good Chrissy's job. So what we're doing moonshine. now, <laughs> girls, Night <train>. since you're <laughs> enjoying this so much, we want to know what kind of cheese will go with your wine. So G here at Curds and Wine is going to help us out because awesome. I say, well, whatever wine you have, whatever cheese you have, just have it, right? But you're saying, you know, sometimes there's perfect pairings and you wouldn't want to come here and make your wine and then make your cheese and then it won't go together. <laughs> so you, you said, well, you need it anyway, but let's talk about what would go well together. So if we, let's start with Sholly's over here. So if we got Sholly's Shiraz, um, what kind of cheese would go good with that? Oh, that'd go really great with either the cheddar or the Parmesan. Okay. Because those are kind of bold cheeses and Shiraz is a big, bold wine. So that would taste really good. This is neat because you've made this. Now, how long would you have a cheese like that age for? Um, at, you, so you make it and then you have to age it, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah, so the Parmesan actually takes several months. It's about 10 months minimum. This cheese is actually a little over a year. And then the cheddar, this is a traditional cheddar. Um, you can make a farmhouse cheddar and eat it in about a month to three months, but this one ages more like six to eight months. Okay. Now let's get over to, how about we do Chrissy? So Chrissy has a Cabernet. What would, what would go well with that? Uh, perfect thing with Cabernet is Camembert. And that's similar to a Brie? Yes. Yeah, okay. it's a mold-ripened cheese. And you made that yourself? Yes, I did. Now, is that a, hard, a difficult one to do? Not really. It's just a matter of getting the right mold to grow on it and nurturing it so that the mold grows well. And you I know that sounds so gross, but that's really yeah, how it's all done. And yeah, there's... cheese is moldy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So can you buy the kits here and you do it all at home? Yes, you can. Yeah, we have some starter kits that will get you going, and you can make up to eight cheeses with our hard-pressed cheese kit. Um, or the more specialized things like the mold for the camembert or the propionic shermani bacteria for the Swiss-style cheese. This is an Emmentaler here. Um, we have those as well. So they're just a little more specialized. But it's not any more difficult. It's just an extra ingredient that makes it different. Okay, and a little bit of time, a little bit of love. Let's talk about Matt. Matt's real quick, because Matt's Merlot, what would go, what cheese would go well with the Merlot? Oh, the Merlot would be really good with, um, let me think, uh, probably <laughs> with the Swiss, I the think Swiss? it would go well, okay. yeah. That sounds good. So if people want to, you know, learn how to do their own wine here and make their own cheese, um, when's your next setup for people to come in and check it all out? So we have a winemaking demonstration, and it's free on February 20th. I believe that's a Sunday at 1 o'clock. It's on our calendar on our website, curdsandwine.com. Um, and we'll, we'll just walk you through every step involved in making wine. Uh -huh. We'll take you from start to finish, show you how easy it is, and you also get a discount if you buy a wine kit that day. Okay, awesome. So we've got it all up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Sholly, Paul, so I think what's really cool is we were making the wine earlier, and I was trying to, like, do the math and figure it all out, but it's about $100 um, for a kit. It, and then you make 30 bottles of wine. Ooh, so wow. it's actually a pretty decent deal. You know, I know they've got like two buck chuck and stuff. So this is like between three and four dollars for a bottle of wine. Then you have 30 bottles. And it's homemade. <laughs> it's <a lot> of <laughs> wine. <laughs> I mean, you can give it to people as gifts. It's homemade wine. That's so cool. 